Hey everyone, this is Dr. Palacios and I'm here to bring another question regarding migraine headaches. Now the question is going to tell us the topic of today and this is how it goes. I have lost about 30 pounds and I'm looking forward to dropping at least another 10. I feel like I am adapting to the diet and will continue to get better with fewer migraines. Does anyone have experience with chronic migraines and the ketogenic diet? Do the migraines continue to improve the longer you're on the diet? Now, as you may have heard, today's topic is going to be about the ketogenic diet and migraine headaches. What it is, what it does, and what are some clinical studies? That's what we're going to review today. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the ketogenic diet has actually been around for a while. It's not one of the new fat diets that we see today. It actually goes back all the way back to the 20s from a Mayo Clinic doctor called uh, Russell Mulder Wilder. And he developed this diet to help children with epilepsy because it was a known fact that children with epilepsy at that time did not have anticonvulsant drugs. And he found out that when the brain used a high fat diet, most of the cases, or at least about half the cases of the pediatric patients uh, resolved their epilepsy or were at least better controlled. But again, with the rise of anticonvulsant medications, the ketogenic diet fell off popularity and was not used as much until recently, until once again, we learn about the side effects of this anticonvulsant drugs that can be quite severe for some people. So we're here back again using the ketogenic diet for migraine patients. Now you may be wondering, migraines and epilepsy. Well, there is a correlation and it's right here. It all happens in the brain. Ketogenic diet is believed to improve the circuitry and the connections in the brain. Now, what is the ketogenic diet? To go over that, we just need to address the three main food groups, protein, carbohydrates, and fats. We all need this for our bodies to digest and then obtain the energy we need for our everyday functions and processes. Now, for the amount, that's what varies in the ketogenic diet. The carbohydrate is the least amount of intake that you do in a day. You will take about 20 grams or 20 to 30 or even less than that. Protein is medium intake, which is about one gram per kilogram per day. And then fat is the main intake of the food in the ketogenic diet. So it goes about 170 grams of fat a day. Now, knowing that ketogenic diet focuses on high fat diet and low carbohydrate, that induces the production of fat molecules that circulates the body and provides the energy necessary for the brain and the rest of the cells. And these are called ketone bodies. Now, how does it protect the brain? We have some theories. It's by four ways. One, it induces the mitochondria biogenesis. Like we talked about, patients with migraines don't have that much mitochondria availability or work, but the ketogenic diet helps it improve those levels and it creates more mitochondria. The second way is antioxidant capacity by improving the levels of fats, and also removing the glucose, which can be inflammatory, especially if you get your sources of carbohydrates from junk or sweets. The third way, it protects the brain. The ketogenic diet provides lots of ketone body transportation around the brain, the brain and the body itself. And last, it induces the GABA upregulation. So the GABA type of neurotransmitter allows the brain to relax in a way, and then the glutamate goes down. So the glutamate is what excites the brain and provides extra sparks and circuitry in the brain. So that gets lower and the GABA becomes higher. 
And the last thing to contemplate and answer is, are there any clinical studies? So in this study, there were 22 participants. All of them had episodic migraines and they tried the ketogenic diet for one month. So high fat, low carb, and medium size protein or medium portions of protein. By the end of the month, the patients reported less severity or less pain, less duration, so less time, and fewer number of days. So I, like I've mentioned, it's promising, but we still need bigger studies to promote this type of diet for migraine patients. If you go into the forums, you will see that ketogenic diet is used and recommended by a lot of migraineurs and doctors themselves too. So think about planning for a ketogenic diet ahead of time before you begin all right away. And I'll be very happy to go through that with you and help you get to your goals so your migraines get much better. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to work together and address the root causes of your migraines, please click on my bio link below. And we can also find alternative ways to your migraines and other conditions as well. And it's all at the comfort of your home. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.